You asked me the question earlier, how do you recognize the signs of things turning bad? The, the problem is that you don't want to be in that situation. You don't want to wait until the signs are so obvious because then it is too late. We want to have the resources to respond deliberately to what's happening and respond creatively to it. And for that, you need to have your basic life fabric intact. And that is what this village provides. If you look at what stays over thousands and thousands of years, it's small villages. Villages are our most resilient settlement form. That is really the most constructive thing that you can put your energy to. Here, this is something we know works. Living sustainably in a comprehensive way is just too much to do alone. You need to do it with other people. Not on this scale, I didn't think I could ever have an opportunity like this. It's almost a dream job. We can produce everything that the village needs off the farm. We're looking at keeping alive some of the heritage varieties, the better tasting, the better keeping, the better looking vegetables that are not so readily available on the supermarket shelves. We're looking at saving the seed from some of those so that we have a seed bank so that we can grow those vegetables on in the future. So this is a part of the village reforestation project. We're replanting uh, pine trees with lots of natives for construction, for tool handles, and for firewood. The house is built according to principles that are going to be common for all of the homes in the village. Passive solar design, the sort of materials, that it's made from, they're all local. I mean, some of the blocks we made ourselves. We're generating our own energy, providing our own water, and with a composting toilet, looking after our own waste and actually using it in, the, in our orchard. I'm surrounded by people who know more than I do about things that I want to know about. So I, I spend my days learning, actually, um, continually, which is pretty satisfying. Atma is really just getting started. There's so much left to be done. There's so much left to shape and seeing that emerge and being part of that as it emerges is just fascinating. And that's really a lot of what the, the whole project is about, is sort of experimenting a bit, trying to push the peanut a little bit. We hope others will learn from it. I mean, I think you can do better. There's a lot of work involved. You know, it's exciting work, it's interesting work, uh, but there's work involved. Much more exciting than, you know, playing golf four times a week would be. I would like to see our kids engage more in life around them rather than to have that life delivered to them on a fleshy screen. That's a lot of turning. Oh, she got it. Can I see another pair? Am I doing it right? You are doing it right, yes. Until it comes off? Yes. Kids will grow up with people exercising valuable practical skills that that are meaningful immediately to the kids. Every time we plant something here, every time we do something with the stock here, there's that real sense of producing something really good and knowing that the people that are going to eat it are people that you know, there's a connection. I think people in a suburban environment almost expect not to be too friendly with your neighbour but to perhaps say the odd hello. I never understood why. We thought we might be coming to a, a rural outset and where iso being isolated could be an issue. We were very happy to find a lot of warmth and friendship instead. It's really essential to reconnect with what the earth has to offer because it really can provide a lot. It really does provide everything. It's an emotional thing, it's a physical thing, it's a spiritual thing. You, you live in the landscape that supports you. There is no way you can't love it. There is no way you can't appreciate it because it feeds you every day. It gives you water every day.
what I'm doing definitely feels more meaningful now than what I was doing in my previous career. Yeah. And that feels great, that feels exciting. It feels like what I'm doing actually matters a lot more. Even though I was, you know, creatively fulfilled in a way, this feels much more meaningful and kind of spiritually fulfilling. Atomai struck a very resonant chord with us. I was aesthetic when my boss said that he didn't really mind where in the world that I was working, as long as I had an internet connection and could, um, could communicate back uh, with, um, with the base. We had the kids' grandparents, my, my mum and dad and Katie's mum and dad in Christchurch. They were very much part of our lives and it was very difficult for us to tell them that we wanted to move away. We had to be quite brave in that decision. To, to, to make the decision knowing that it was right for us to do it. And that, that was a difficult thing to do. It was, that, that's the hardest, hardest part of this whole thing, you know. I mean, you know, I, re I remember very well the moment when we um, made the final decision after all the discussions. And it was a very, very emotional time because we realized we were going to be leaving an awful lot that we really loved. and. Um, you know, thought that it would have been part of our lives for the rest of our lives. But ultimately, we just felt it was more important to provide a, uh, a sustainable settlement for the future. We as, as parents can look them in the eye and say, I have done what was best and most meaningful and most helpful to you. We are facing change and that is what this village is about. It's the best way, the most comfortable way, and the most creative way to face change. It is very exciting to see this village becoming a reality, but it's not so much a, a sort of a buzzing excitement. It's more the pleasure of, of seeing something fall into place that needs to be here. It's a bit more quiet. <laughs>